Okay, I thought I'd do this quick video on what's the quickest way to recharge the Apple Magic Mouse 2. This is the one that's got the uh, lightning connector. You, you recharge, you can't use the mouse while you're recharging it. So let's have a look. So what we'll do, because there's two, there's two theories. One says that you uh, recharge it uh, turned off, which is, seems logical, but um, I heard that it's actually quicker to recharge it with it actually on, right? So it's on at the moment. So I thought I'll test it out because I've got this little gadget here. It's called a USB tester. And this will show us um, the current it's drawing and everything. So more current draw, the faster it's going to um, get recharged. So what I've got is I've got my uh, 10 amp, 10 amp, uh, 10 watt, sorry, Apple USB power adapter. And what we're going to do is put this in between. There we go. And we'll get this out of camera. So you can see here, 5.13 volts. Oh, this reset, it's got a reset button here. So you can actually reset it to zero. So it'll actually tell you how many milliamp hours uh, has gone into your mouse as well. So you can sort of work out what the capacity of your devices are. Uh, the mouse at the moment is at 4%. I believe. Let's have a quick look. Pretty sure it's at four percent. Uh, yeah, it's showing four percent. It's turned on. <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll put the lightning connector in, and we will plug him in, and we'll see how much it's drawing. So let's have a look here. Now this should be charging at its maximum. So you got 1.3 amps, 1.28, 1.31, 1.34. Let's say about 1.3 amps with the mouse actually on. You see here it's, it's actually on. So what we'll do is we'll turn the mouse off and we'll see if that drops. There we go. Look at that. 0 0.38. 0 0.38. Yeah, it's definitely charges a lot quicker. Jeez, about three times quicker. With the mouse turned on so you can see there 5.08 volts 0.38 amps with it off turn it on and it goes up to so the voltage drops a little bit and that should catch up there we go one five volts at 1.28 amps 1.31 so yeah about 1.3 say so definitely definitely i think we've definitely confirmed or just Take this out now, otherwise I won't be able to switch screens. Let's see, have we got have we got mouse. Hopefully, we've got mouse. Get the mouse back up, and we will. Here we go. Mouse connected. We'll go back to full screen. So there we go, guys. Definitely have your mouse, magic mouse, on when you're charging because you're charging about three times the rate. So there we go, guys. That's a very easy test. Uh, this USB tester. These things you can get uh, online from eBay. If you only paid, it's less than ten dollars, and they're really, really, really cool. I use it all the time just to test uh, battery capacities, also to check things are charging properly, things like that, and actually see if things are actually working and and if the battery is absolutely stuffed. You know, you're not going to get any charge at all. So it's really good thing for testing, and uh, totally recommend them. Might buy a couple more because they're really handy, and um, you can also track track the um, capacity of your batteries going uh, failing. You know, like the iPhone batteries and that's that sort of thing. You can s see how much um, capacity loss you're getting over the years. You could probably you know put it in a spreadsheet, whatever you like, if you real get real nerdy about it. But um, just very handy for testing things like this. Just like working out the um, you know if you've got like a uh, a charger, like a non-Apple charger and that sort of thing, just seeing how much um, how, how it compares to the genuine Apple chargers and that sort of stuff. So I use it all the time, I use them for AC chargers, 12 volt uh, car chargers, that sort of thing as well, uh, just to check um, which is the best charger and just you know, grade them <laughs> if you like to so you can work out which one is the fastest charger and that sort of thing. Okay, guys, we'll, we'll leave it there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. I'll leave a link up over there. Uh, more how-to videos. I'll do a few of these technical videos. Um, as some of you might know, if you've uh, tuned into my channel, I'm an electronic engineer by, by 
profession. Uh, got my electronic engineering back in, oh geez, the nineties, and uh, you know, use it here and now. I used to be a battery specialist and that sort of thing. I used to build up specialized battery packs. Uh, so this is my bread and butter. I know, I know this quite well. Okay, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.